first in New York with fractionated brain radiosurgery, and he's the first in America and in the Western Hemisphere with body radiosurgery. Hey, Dr. Lederman, we're back. Yeah, we're back, and uh, I'm here with John. I want to talk about an interesting man. I saw a man about two months ago with prostate cancer, Gleason 7. Gleason is how the cancer appears under the microscope, and there's a range from 2 to 10. The lower the number, the less the risk. Right. of dying, the, mm-hmm. the higher the number, the riskier it is. Sure. And Gleason 7, 8, 9, and 10 are considered a higher risk cancer. So this man had a Gleason 7. I saw him, showed him our data, and showed him the booklet, which I'm going to refer to in just a minute. He had a Gleason 7. I recommended one treatment. He then went somewhere else, and they recommended seeds only, brachytherapy only. Right. He said, oh, that's the most convenient. The doctor recommended it. I'm going to do that. And he called me yesterday. He called me at 9 o'clock. He is scheduled to be in the operating room at 10 o'clock at a hospital pretty close to us. Yeah. One of the... uh... No, no, look. If you look at Gleason 7, and you can turn to page 14 of our booklet of prostate cancer, I think we're the only ones that give a booklet to show our results. We've treated about 3,000 men, and you can open up our booklet, and you can see our results versus other facilities and hospitals across the nation. So for Gleason 7, page 14, here's our data versus data at two uh, major facilities, one in Boston and one in Philadelphia. Now for Gleason 7, if they do seeds only, which is what he was being proposed at this other hospital, he was 60 minutes away from his seeds. (laughs) The success rate is 35%. Okay. So not. So he called me up. He said, Doc, what should I do? I said, well, you came to me already. I told you what you should do if it were me. I told you the data. You can decide yourself. Our data is 90%. So if you're taking all your life earnings and putting on a casino in Atlantic City, would you rather have a 90% chance of success or a 30% chance of success? I think uh, 90% okay, is where I want to Okay, but he I was scheduled for 30. Yeah, yeah. He said, oh, Doc, it's a lot easier. I said to him, 30%, yeah, it's easier, but what's going to happen to the 70%? You know, you're going to have recurrence of the cancer, and most likely if the cancer comes back, you very likely will die. So think about it. He said, well, I'm afraid of canceling. I said, well, people cancel all the time. It's your life. Are you more afraid of canceling or are you more afraid of dying? And after a lot of deliberation, he canceled, even though it was an hour away from yeah. doing what I think was the wrong thing. Sure. He's coming to us on Monday uh, for a repeat consultation to go over all the data, just like I went over the first time, just like colonoscopy. The more time you take with a patient, the more they learn, the more they listen, and the more... I and doctors learn about the patient. Yeah, sure. You know, the doctor has to be the advocate for the patient. If the doctor doesn't see eye to eye with the patient and the patient doesn't see eye to eye with the doctor, there's going to be trouble. There's going to be conflict. Sure. And if there's conflict, it's going to be bad news. You don't have to listen to your doctor. You can get a second opinion. Not every doctor comes up with the same ideas. Some doctors' ideas are colored by their circumstances and experiences and uh, their data. So it's more than just making money. It's doing the right thing. And sometimes doing the right thing means better results, even if it's less money. And we do prostate brachytherapy. It's actually the cheapest treatment. Yeah. It's the cheapest treatment, but the results show it's better. Why? Because you can put the radiation seeds directly into the prostate. Seeds directly in the prostate give the highest dose to the cancer and avoid harm to the other tissues. So you can get treatment in half the time. Prostate brachytherapy takes an hour. People come in, get their procedure, and go home. And uh, just a typical example, for example, Monday we'll be doing prostate brachytherapy in the morning, and we'll start at 7 o'clock, and we'll be there at 7 o'clock, and the physicist will be there at 7 o'clock, and the anesthesia will be there at 7 o'clock, and the nurses will be there at 7 o'clock, and the symmetrists will be there at 7 o'clock, and the patient will be there at 7 o'clock. Right. So we had another experienced uh, acquaintance of mine who had a 7 o'clock appointment in a hospital. Well, he ended up getting postponed until 5 o'clock that afternoon. Talk so about means, a long day of waiting. Well, you couldn't eat. Yep. Right? You sit around the hospital, so you're uncomfortable. You're doing nothing. You can't eat. 
you promised to get in at 7 o'clock and uh, some other case took priority. And you're probably thinking about a lot of negative You're things. probably thinking about it. I'd rather be with Dr. Leader yeah, and have yeah. my case at 7 o'clock. <laughs> by, by 8, 8.30, you know, you'd be having uh, some scrambled eggs. Yeah. So where you go makes a difference. There are differences. There's big differences. So for this gentleman with a Gleason 7 cancer, he woke up and realized that, yeah, Radical surgery is 60%. Prostate brachytherapy only is 30%. Treatments matter. They're not all the same. And you have to look at your PSA score and your Gleason score. And then you come up with what's best for you. Mm -hmm. Sure. What is the least complications? What is the best chance of being cancer-free? So, again, if you have questions, give us a call. And better yet, come in. We'll go over all the data. You'll get a booklet with all your information circled so you can see exactly where you stand. Should you have nine weeks of treatment, five weeks of treatment, 45 minutes of treatment, no treatment, surgery, whatever, you'll see the data. Yeah, which is uh, key. Which is really important. Yeah. So see the data. This man with Gleason 7, hopefully he's decided in the right avenue to give him his best chance of being cancer-free. And with another man who came in yesterday, 45, who I treated a year ago with prostate cancer, his PSA has fallen from 10 down to 0. 0.2. Wow, almost okay. non-existent. Almost non-existent. He's pretty much home free, and most likely he's going to be home free to get down so low, so fast. It's fantastic. He's sexually active. He's a trainer. He's in excellent physical shape. He uh, has normal bowel movements, urination. He's feeling fine. He's on no medications, and um, he's doing what he wants to do, which is live his life, not think about cancer. Uh, we're spacing the visits out more and more, so he sees me about three times a year. Mm -hmm. He has my email if he wants to call me that way. He has my phone number, and I give my phone number to all my patients so they can call. And I know that uh, you do not. answer it all the time. I answer and unless I'm in the shower or an airplane. Yep, I'm yeah. <laughs> most likely going to be answering that call. And there's another man who sent me an email who has a Gleason 7 PSA 11, so he's considered high risk. High risk means your PSA is more than 10, mm -hmm. which is the blood test, and your Gleason score, which is the appearance, is more than 6. So he's high risk. He wanted to look at the data. And, again, I urge people to show the data. Uh, and just to flip on the page for him and for you all, what's the data for a high-risk patient? PSA more than 10, Gleason more than 6. If you went with nine weeks of treatment, the success rate is 35% in a big cancer center near us, 35% there with nine weeks of treatment. It's double with us in half the time. So it really makes a difference. Sure. And I urge people to um, think about that before they go down the wrong avenue. I have some updates. Remember that six-year-old boy that I've been talking about? I do, He yeah. flew up from Texas. He had this brain tumor. Uh, he had five treatments. He was lives in a town with the world's largest cancer institute in Texas. Uh, they refused to treat him. Okay. His mother was really upset. He had this big brain tumor growing on the right side of the brain. Yep. He was losing the ability to speak and move. Uh, she called me. She said, look, I want to try to stop this tumor. Yeah. No one will help me here. Uh, we listened to her. We reviewed the scans. We had our radiologist look at the scans. And we agreed there's a massive tumor. It was pushing the whole brain to the other side. It's called mass effect. Mm -hmm. And um, she brought the son in six years old. We talked about all the issues. Informed consent was signed. Treated him, and within two treatments, he was better. Wow. Talking. And he was on narcotics because he was on so much pain yeah. from the splitting headaches. Sure. The headaches are completely gone. They Great. stopped all narcotics. Outstanding. This is a non-invasive treatment. They're cutting down the decadron. And they're from Texas, Houston, Texas. And they like it in New York so much. They like the experience of the five radio surgery treatments. Yeah. Each one's about 10 minutes. Right. They're moving here. Get out of here, yeah? They're moving to New York because okay. they want to have New York care, even though they're located next to the world's largest cancer hospital. Right. They want to be with us. And after an experience with you, I think um, it well, speaks for nice. itself. It's rewarding. Yeah, you know, sure. Uh, we try to do the best for each. It's like with Bertha and Herb. Uh, it's nice for people to call in and relate the experience because we're not just 
selling something. We're trying right. to make lives exactly. better. Yeah, sure. That's why sure. we're talking about smoking, while we're talking about options, while we're talking about data. So for this little boy, thank God the, the pain is gone and you're doing better. And we're going to get an MRI. I think he's scheduled for later in the month to prove that everything is better, the tumor is shrunken, and there's less pressure on the brain. Great. That's a great story, Doctor. Yeah, well, it's you know? a great truthful story. So we're just about at the end of the hour. Uh, if we didn't get to your call or your questions, you can call me during the day or during the week. We're at 212 Choices, uh, 212 Choices, which is 212-246-4237. Radio City, New York is located at 38th and Broadway in Manhattan, which is 1384 Broadway. And if you're in Manhattan, you're welcome to come over and get our booklets. There's no charge in the DVD. Uh, we have two more programs on uh, 710 Radio, s Sunday morning at 6 to 7 and Sunday night from 9 to 10. So I hope that you all have a great week and we stay warmer and you fixed your pipes and fixed your furnace and all your friends and loved ones are doing well. So thank you, John. Thank you, Doctor. It. And uh, have a great week. God bless you and thank you for everything. Take care. Thanks for tuning in to the Radio Surgery Hour with Dr. Gil Lederman and myself. If you have questions before next week's show, just contact Dr. Lederman at 212-CHOICES. That's 212-246-4237. That's 212-246-4237. This is Rob Redstone. Till next week. Here's Dr. Gil Lederman, New York's only Harvard-trained, triple-board certified radiation cancer doctor. If chemo, surgery, or radiation isn't working or isn't tolerated when cancer and its pain and symptoms aren't getting better, seek a fresh second opinion at Radio Surgery New York's Urgent Cancer Consultants for innovative, custom-tailored cancer treatment. See our experts within one business day because we know your time and your life are precious. Our goal is proper diagnosis and effective, non-invasive outpatient treatment. Decades of leadership, first in New York with brain radio surgery, first in America with body radio surgery for cancers of the brain, body, and prostate, all custom-tailored for you. Call 212-CHOICES, 212-CHOICES for a prompt appointment and free booklet DVD. Super convenient, 38th and Broadway, with most insurances, Medicare, Medicaid accepted. You're next at Radio Surgery New York. Just call 212 Choices. 212 Choices. This is where New York comes to talk. Legendary 77 WABC. New York. Accumula Station. Station. From ABC News. I'm Dave Packer. It's day three for about 300,000 West Virginia residents under a no-use water alert. A coal mining chemical leak contaminated the water for nine...